you lose control. There is no control. It controls you, you don't control it. I'm Willie C, I'm great for coming at it. What's up, Willie? Began using heroin at the age of 16. I became addicted to heroin when I was uh, 17 years old. It's primary, it's chronic. Once you have it, you will always have it. It started um, uh, prescription pain medicine, honestly. So I kind of, well, I had a gunshot wound. I didn't realize it then, but I picked up a lifetime habit. Carter moved to the Ozarks from the Mississippi Delta years ago. The average person just might be surprised to learn that things like that happen all the time in, in some of the best neighborhoods, some of the nicest places in town. America was first introduced to opium in the early 1800s, brought here by Chinese immigrants who were working on railroads in the Old West, and it grew quickly in popularity, even being linked to famous frontiersmen Wild Bill Hickok and Kit Carson. From that, doctors began to develop morphine, and tens of thousands of people became addicted very quickly. We've really started seeing widespread use of it with uh, the use with Civil War soldiers as far as to ameliorate, um, you know, pain. They were doing a lot of amputations um, and the soldiers became addicted to it. The main problem that we face here is the methamphetamine. We're not seeing the heroin problem uh, as of yet. Douglas County Sheriff Krista Gay says the void left following the crackdown on pseudoephedrine and meth labs has been filled by the Mexican cartel. Since it's so accessible, uh, we are seeing the price be a lot cheaper. I mean, um, the information that we're getting now is that they're paying about half of what they were paying this time uh, two years ago. It's a problem shared across the state line, but if meth is number one in rural Arkansas, prescription pills are a close number two. Arkansas has the highest prescription drug abuse rate amongst teens in the nation. Green County Prosecutor Dan Patterson. We know, based on our experience, that much of our crime is driven by those who use or deal drugs. Says drug cases in the county take up much of the department's time. Everything from possession to distribution to trafficking cases. With two prosecutors dedicated to working drug cases and investigators working undercover on the streets, convicted drug dealers like 21-year-old Wesley Dale Houseel are busted. This one is a little bit over time. Sorry. This one is right after. You're going to like it, most definitely. If you guys, if you guys like it, um, I uh, definitely you get half grams. Half grams are a little bit, more, a little bit less expensive. In reality, it was my doctor that actually saved me. I think. I mean, he Ooh. kind of looked at me and he actually cared. Like, I think a lot of people see addicts and they just see like trash or you know somebody who isn't ever going to be fixed or like a normal functioning piece of part of society. And you know, he. He helped me. He put me in this program and he really did the right thing and I don't think I would be here without him. I think a lot of people don't talk about it. You'll see a, an obituary in the paper of a young person says, well, they died at home or they died here or there and they really, the family is embarrassed. They don't want to say they died of an overdose. We've called our series of courageous conversations at Color 10 the quiet epidemic. Long says he wasn't aware of the magnitude of opiate addiction in the 7th District until the issue hit close to home for him. I have three friends, three personal longtime, lifetime friends that have lost children in the last year and a half to this problem. So when did you hit rock bottom? I had gotten into an altercation with my parents. I was withdrawing off of very high amounts of methadone, and uh, which is for heroin addicts and um, I was uh, drinking. I was told in a letter that I had drank 17 beers in under an hour's time. I ended up getting into a fist fight with both of my parents. His parents at the time were in their late 60s. I don't remember the part with my mom. I remember the part with my father. I remember uh, shoving him into a hallway and he had fallen down and when he hit the tile floor, the sound it almost made me throw up immediately. Like I heard something break and something heavy broke. He had just gotten out of having the ball in his hip replaced. And so I found out through letters that I had actually pushed that new ball through the back of my father's hip and shattered it. 